Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add text inputs to your React Native apps. So uh, I'm using Expo here because I find it's easy to get set up and running for beginners. Um, just easy to install and run the app on your phone. So I like to use it. Um, but you can use any React Native app and I'll be doing this in a functional component here. So I'm going to add um, import text input from React Native um, and that's because that's what I'm going to use to show you the different features of the text input provided by React Native. I don't need text anymore because I'm just using this text input. It's going to be a very simple UI because it's a very quick demo. Um, I'm also going to import React because I want to use React State and um, the reason I want to use that is that if I, so I've got an initial value for my text input and if that value changes I need to update that value um, using this set my value function which will update the state and cause the component to re-render. I'll also provide an initial value to this use state function which will give the initial value of my value and set my value as a function which effectively sets the state. So first up, you want to give your text input a value. So it's going to be my value there that I've defined as um, state. And on change of text, I want to set my value so we'll call that function and set it to whatever the text ch text has changed to. And that will just mean that my text input is keeping up to date with everything. I'm going to give it a placeholder just so that you can sort of see where the input is. Just calling it my value. So now I've got the real basic text input up and running. I'm going to change into my um, app directory and I'm going to run it using Expo Start. So they'll load up my app if I open the Expo app. And there you go, you can see my input with my placeholder text and I can enter whatever I want. The default keyboard is um, letters and numbers, just the normal iOS keyboard. But you can um, specify what keyboard type you want. So here I am specifying that I want a numeric type. You can see that there's only numbers available for me on the keyboard and I can't change between different keyboards. So I'm noticing my input is not exactly the most clear to see where it starts and ends so I want to add some styling to it now. So I'm just adding a bottom border. And then I need to add that style to my text input. And if I save, you can see I've got now this nice underline. But I still think I could make it a little bit better. So I'm going to do a line south and stretch it out. So they'll basically make it the width of the screen. Um, I'm also going to give it a margin just so it doesn't touch the edges of the screen. I can still make it a bit better, so I might add some padding to it to make it a little bit better. And yeah, I think I could also increase the font size to make it a bit more readable. So if I do that, you can give whatever font size you want. I'll do 20. So yeah, that's my styling for my text input. Um, you can do a lot of different properties on it to make it look how you want for your app and suit the theme of your app and the branding. So now I want to show you a few more things that you can do with the text input. So you can change the placeholder text color 
So I'm just going to make that green to match my underline. Well, I think the grey looks good because you can tell that it's not a um, not not the actual value. Like it looks as sort of a little bit more disabled and not um, not like the actual value. You can set whether you want it to be editable or not. You can even set whether you want auto complete or auto correct on. So if you set editable to false, then um, you won't be able to tap and edit it. And I'm just giving it a different initial value by changing my use state to have test in it. Um, and now if I remove this editable, you should see that I'll be able to t click into my text input again. Yeah, so you can see I can click into my test text input again now that I've removed that editable. There are a few more things that are quite useful to be able to do with the text input. Um, so one thing is you can do some extra validation on the length of the input by using this max length property. So you can set that to a number, so I've set it to 10 here, and it'll stop me from typing once I hit 10 characters. So it just means that you don't need to do some extra JavaScript validation, which is pretty cool. Um, and there are some other cool features as well. One of those is that you can um, make it a multi-line text field, so if you hit enter after typing, you can... Um, create multiple lines using the text input and for Android you can actually set the number of lines that you want max I believe. I'm going to link the documentation in the description below so you can check it out there for anything extra. This is me using a secure text entry so I'm actually typing but it's not showing up on screen because my um, phone's detected that it shouldn't be showing what I'm typing into a um, password input. But yeah, that's basically all for today. I hope you enjoyed my content, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more. I'm uploading pretty regularly. See you guys again soon.